Thank you for being here with us uh, today, and, uh, and we certainly hope that you'll come visit us in Mississippi where the food is always better. Uh, <laughs> we, can, uh, we can fry anything, just so you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great place. But we have, uh, we have many wonderful places uh, to visit. Uh, we have the beautiful Natchez Trace Parkway that runs uh, from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, down to Natchez, Mississippi on the Mississippi River. Lots of great history there. Uh, we also have the, the Dixie National Rodeo, that's the largest rodeo east of the Mississippi River. Uh, and, uh, and surprising to some is uh, the International Ballet Competition is only held in one place in the United States, and that's in Jackson, Mississippi, every four years, a two-week Olympic-style uh, event that is uh, people, visitors from all over the world. And uh, so we hope you'll, you'll take a, a chance to come visit us sometime. Uh, and there's uh, great things there. The Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians, uh, their ad campaign is uh, Vegas with sweet tea. Uh, so uh, many, many wonderful things there. And, uh, uh, and we appreciate what you do. And, and we know this, that uh, tourism is important to every state. Uh, and, and it is uh, affected uh, in great ways, particularly on group travel, by uh, gas prices at the pump. The high, the high prices are definitely... Uh, uh, have a big impact on planning those trips and uh, from bus tours to, to other groups that come in. So uh, we, we certainly hope that uh, uh, the administration will perhaps uh, uh, reconsider its position on Keystone XL pipeline and, and look at ways that we can affect that price uh, at the pump directly, uh, realizing that when uh, gas was $1.84 a gallon average, uh, it's a lot easier to to get folks on board and to, and to make, uh, make trips. So that's a big impact. But what I want to do is, uh, is ask you a couple of questions and uh, you know, understand how did the administration set goals for the strategy that you've, uh, you've discussed? Uh, and is the primary goal to increase the number of international visitors to 100 million by 2012? It's, it's by 2021. 2020, I'm sorry, yes. 2021. If I could read, I could figure that out. Okay. Uh, you know, 100 million is a <clears throat> is a is a nice goal, but how was how was that figure uh, arrived at? That's derived? very very ambitious uh, goal, a good goal. Well, it, it is ambitious, and, and and we really want a stretch goal. We don't want to set forth a goal that you know is 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 too easy to reach because we want to work together and, and really push to mm -hmm. to to uh, ensure that the job creation that we believe can can occur as a result of this industry uh, uh, is is as robust as possible. Uh, the Office of Travel and Tourism Industries and the Department of Commerce uh, does an annual forecast of international travel. And that forecast shows that uh, there's an increase of 4.2 percent uh, per year through 2016, okay. uh, just based upon factors uh, that we look at uh, in deriving that number. Um, we believe that if we pull together the way that we plan to do under this strategy and with the help of the private sector, we can push that to 5 percent per year. Okay. Okay. And so once you, you get that number, we, we get to a, a, a hundred million uh, visitors, uh, the math on the amount of money that's spent is just based upon historic spending patterns per visitor. Got you. Uh, and so even me as a, a lawyer can figure out how to do the math on that one. Well, but it's, <laughs> lawyer, but it's, lawyers are people too. We are people so, too. Yeah. We are. So, but but certainly that's, that was the baseline. It was based yeah. upon uh, the, the, the survey that we do. Um, and what we did was we really tried to push it so that based upon all the efforts that we're making. Well, how do you uh, plan to coordinate your activities with Brand USA to make sure there's no duplication or that you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're working together? And, and what do you see as the key contribution of the department? Okay. Well, we will not duplicate the efforts of Brand USA. Brand USA is a, is a private sector entity. They will be uh, putting together their plans and working very closely with their private sector partners to ensure that the, the, all of the uh, expertise that's available in industry can be brought to bear to promote the United States. The government will be focused on uniquely governmental items, creating the uh, environment for travel and tourism businesses to thrive, ensuring that our borders, while protecting them, are welcoming to uh, visitors, ensuring that the playing field is leveled uh, in international fora as it relates to, uh, you know, ensuring that uh, any um, restrictions on trade and travel and tourism are eliminated. Only uniquely governmental functions will the U.S. government focus on. Thank you for your time today. I yield back. <laughs> 